hello good morning all today in this session we are going to discuss regarding the invoicing policy in Odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo version 15 community edition and the same will be in enterprise edition 2 so the point that we will be discussing is about the invoicing policy so in Odoo mainly there are two types of invoicing policy one is invoicing based on ordered quantity and the next one is invoicing based on ordered quantity that is ordered and delivered quantities so if you go to the products so i'll navigate to inventory products and if you open any of the products click on edit button and here you can see you have a field called invoicing policy with two options that is ordered quantity and delivered quantity so we will be discussing about the difference between two and how both are working so if i come to the products and what i will do is that let me group by invoicing policy so here we have that field and if you check here you can see we have got around 22 products in the database which is delivered quantity that is invoicing policy is delivered quantities and there is six products with invoicing policy as ordered quantity so from the name itself we can get a fair idea about what is the difference between these two invoicing policies so let me keep this tab over here and i'll duplicate this tab and if i go to the sales application and what I will do is that I'll create a quotation for two products from two different types. So here we have acoustic block screens and from this category I'll choose drawer black. So let me create a quotation for the customer Assure interior and I'll add the product acoustic block screen of quantity 5. So I'll give the quantity as 5 and from this category that is from the invoicing policy ordered category I'll choose drawer black. I'll add drawer black and of same quantity file. So what I have done is I have just added two products to the order line from two different invoicing policies. One is acoustic block screen and one is drawer black and both are five quantities. Now I'll click on save. So we have successfully created a quotation. Now I'll click on confirm and the sale order is done that is we have created a quotation and confirmed it into a sale order now we have two options you can see a delivery order is generated against this sale order and we have the create invoice button for creating and giving the invoice to the customer so what i'll do is that so I'll, i'm not going to the delivery part currently so if i click on create button now so i'll click on create invoice i'll choose a regular invoice and if you check the created invoice, you will see we have got only one product, whereas we have got two products in the sale order line, acoustic block screen and drawer black here. But once you create the invoice, you can see drawer black is only coming in the invoicing. So if I check here, the drawer black is coming under ordered quantities. So once we create the invoice, so once we create invoice from sale order, the invoicing policy will be coming. So as drawer black, the invoicing policy is ordered quantity. It will not respect. It doesn't need to look at delivery. Just it will invoice what the customer is ordered. So here we have made a order of five and it's invoiced. But in the case of acoustic block screen, which is coming under delivered quantities currently we haven't delivered anything to the client yet so it cannot be invoiced so it can be invoiced only once the delivery is done now what i'll do is that i'll go to the delivery and here we have you can see in delivery we have bought the products so i'll click on edit button and i'm going to deliver three quantities out of five and drawer black i'll make full delivery so I'll click on save, validate and you can see of course Odoo will create back order for the two quantities, create back order and you can see it's completed. Three quantities is delivered and there will be a back order. You can see two delivery and the back order will be for two quantities of acoustic block screen. So if I come back to the sale order, what you can see from acoustic block screens of five quantity ordered quantity 
we have made delivery for three quantities now we can see again the create invoice has been coming highlighted because we have three quantities to make invoice now if i click on create invoice a regular invoice and you can see a new invoice has been generated and you can see its first invoice so if i choose the other one you can see a new invoice of three acoustic block screen has been generated because we have made delivery for three quantities and that we can make invoice for three quantities now i'll confirm that invoice and i'll collect the payment from the customer you can choose whether it is cash or bank i'll make a bank create statement create payment so that invoice is created and payment is made for three quantities similarly for the other invoice which we have created initially for the ordered quantity i'll confirm and i'll register payment against this invoice as cash method so that's done so what we have done is we have invoiced for the five quantities and invoiced for three quantities then you can see still there are two quantities pending so i'll go to the delivery and i'll validate this pending delivery so you can see finally we have made full delivery for the sale order now if i come back to the sale order you can see create invoice so now we are we have to do we have to create invoice for the remaining two quantities so if you click on create invoice and if you open the draft invoice you can see the invoice has been generated for the remaining two quantities so this is the working of invoicing policy in Odoo. we have two types of invoicing one is ordered quantity that is it's independent of without respecting the delivery quantity just it will invoice what the order placed by the customer whereas the if invoicing policy is delivered quantity the invoice can be done only once the product is delivered to the customer so that's the difference between the invoicing policy in odoo so i hope you understood the difference between these two so if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to directly comment under the video and feel free to connect us in social medias like linkedin facebook twitter instagram and in gmail that is odoo mates at gmail.com so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you